What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, and today I want to talk to you guys about something really, really dope coming to the channel. Now, I wanted to start off 2019 right. 2018 was a wonderful year for me. I gained a lot of people, I gained a lot of support, and I wanted to give back to you guys. So, starting with 2019, I wanted to do giveaways. Now, the first giveaway we're doing is a $25 gift card of your choosing, PSN, Xbox, whatever. All you guys have to do is click that sub button, get your friends to click that sub button, anything that you guys want to do to increase your chances, all that's all you guys have to do, but you guys have to go to the link in the description below. You guys also have to make sure you guys do it from now until the 14th. That's your deadline, guys. So hopefully everybody gets a chance to get in there and everybody gets a chance to, you know, have fun. And don't worry, all you people that have subscribed already, you guys have an option to be in something very soon. We have a lot of things in the works coming in 2019, so I hope that everybody stays put, everybody enjoys the channel. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Peace. my can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. What did do YouTube and happy new years? Well, with the end of 2018, I thought that I would take one of the most popular games of the year, of, of a long time actually, Fortnite, and I would come to you guys with a video on some of, in my opinion, now this, that's what I want to say. First things first, this is strictly my opinion, so if you guys have any other ideas or any other additions, you guys can throw that down in the comment section below because I love hearing that from you guys. I love conversing with you guys, having a general discussion. It's actually one of the cooler parts of doing YouTube, but with that being said, this this video is strictly about the worst things that were added to Fortnite in 2018. Now, I have a reasoning for all of this. I'm hoping that this video doesn't become too long-winded, but here we go. Oh, before we get started guys, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video and if you agree on any of these points, make sure you guys leave a like down below to show your support. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing in my opinion, number five, I absolutely thought that the drum gun was one of the worst i i don't know if it was the drum gun itself or if it was the meta it was uh, when the drum gun was introduced in the game it was consistent spam just a high, high magazine lots of spam building like uh, like like you couldn't do anything because they would just hold the trigger, hip fire, and push right through your building. It was the absolute most aggravating time all year for me was the drum gun spam down your building meta. And it's, uh, it's it, it makes my head hurt even thinking about it. And that was the funny part was that the gun wasn't even that bad. The gun was dope. I enjoyed the gun for what it was. It came out at the same time that those detective skins came out and it felt so like nostalgic. It was so dope, but it absolutely had to be vaulted. Um, you know, it, it just, it was a bad meta and it, it probably wasn't that, but it, it was the introduction into that meta that kind of just, it just, it, it wasn't good. Next up, we have at number four, the guided rocket. Now, this was something that wasn't in the game for even that long before it got vaulted because it was absolutely broken. I remember this one clip that I had. I actually don't know what I did with it, but it was this. I was playing on Xbox and it was the high explosives game mode. And I was just spamming rockets. Obviously, you know, that's the only thing you can use, but I was just spamming rockets and it was an unstoppable barrage. And then those clips where Ninja would like, or the high, high, you know, really good, really skilled players would just literally shoot the rocket, jump on the rocket, and then just come after you. Like it was so broken. It was so unnecessary too. There is no reason in this game that that should be an actual thing that you could sit in your one by one and spam rockets out of your one by run in order to actually destroy somebody without even like having to fight them like that once again makes my brain hurt this whole thing this whole conversation is a giant migraine now with that being said we have number three guys now number three is going to come as no surprise to you guys but it might come as a surprise on the list to you guys now number three actually happened recently and it is the sword the excalibur itself the most op thing in this game now let's let's run through this you could leap great distances almost negate fall damage from most heights broken you could one shot building i the amount of things that they put in this game that allow you to completely negate building which is one of the things that make this game super fun is when you're in a build fight and things like that happen you know when i when i heard that they were introducing swords when the hype of the swords were even coming through i thought that it would be you know something simple 
maybe 30 damage maybe in a build fight you don't have any ammo you know you sword fight at the end i thought that would be dope but no they gave you the most broken sword possible and you just wanged with it you just you just had to deal with it and at the end of the game if you didn't have that sword you would have to see that person coming and there was no winning a fight close quarters with the sword and i know that most people are gonna be like well that's kind of the point of a sword like if you if you if there was so bad that you would not be able to kill the person and there was no reason to use it then why would they put it in the game all i'm saying is is they could have done something different they didn't have to add that to the main game like thanos's gauntlet they could have added that to a limited time mode and not had to worry about any of that and we would have been still fine with it I think they just executed that poorly, and I'm still, I wouldn't be mad to see that come back as an actual limited time mode, but yeah, it, it was a bad decision on Epic's part. Next up, we have airplanes, like the Storm Wings. Those, I don't know if I want them to be vaulted necessarily. They add a great feel, you know, a lot of Battle Royales have uh, air vehicles. They have, they have vehicles in general. So it, introducing, or I won't say a lot, uh, Blackout has them. You know, I'm not really sure if PUBG has them. I don't think PUBG has helicopters or any type of planes or anything. But the point is, you know, it's not the worst idea. But the idea of it being like, like just getting dive bombed is so frustrating. Like there will be so many situations where you're in the middle of a fight and you just get dive bombed out of nowhere. I think that the plane should take more damage from certain weapons as in like, the heavy sniper if it tags it it should take like a lot more damage than it already does i mean i know it already packs a punch but i'm just like there should be certain things that just do a lot of damage it should be able to take a lot more damage and because people shouldn't be able to camp in them you're basically able to camp in them if you wanted to now yeah you can shoot them down and you can shoot the person out of them but if a person knows how to use it and they spend a lot of time in it it gets kind of frustrating it gets kind of annoying and it really makes those late game fights where people are just you know camping in the air or when you're in that final 1v3 situation you have to worry about the airplane like I don't know about you guys, but this happens to me rather frequently, and the storm wings were probably the worst thing that I, well, the second worst thing, obviously, that has been added to the game, in my opinion. Now, we come up with the next one, which is the most recent addition to the game, which is boom boxes. Now, all I'm saying, Epic, is if you don't like building, then, like, let's just, like, nerf it, or let's reduce the amount of mats we can have, but, like, this is a complete building neutralizer. Once you throw this down, you nor anybody else can build until it gets turned off now certain situations i do enjoy this i do like that because like there are times where you're just like well i don't have the mats for this but i have a boom box maybe we could just fight on playing ground and that'd be dope i i i, I understand it but it is very frustrating especially because it levels whole buildings it doesn't just like I don't know it's very it's in general it's just it's unnecessary it's kind of a waste of an update like they they added it and it's like ah like i don't understand why it didn't make very much sense i don't know if they were just like maybe we'll put it in the game and we'll we'll troll people and maybe we'll just leave it in there for like a little bit i i don't know but it doesn't seem like uh, something that anybody wanted or anybody needed i don't think anybody needed something else to break building or to to mess with build fights i mean it's fun to do but when it happens to you it's kind of just like the worst thing because there's nothing you can do to stop it you can barely even save yourself from falling from a great height based on the fact that it's knocking out every type of building you place so at the moment you play something it's gone but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if, like i said if you guys have anything to add on to this i i would love to hear it now we're coming into 2019 and I don't see Fortnite slowing down or stopping anytime soon. So with that being said, we can very much expect a lot of different things. That's all, that's all you can describe it as, is different things to be coming into the game soon. So hopefully, hopefully uh, Epic makes some better decisions this year. Some things that, but you know, as a creator, they have to experiment and things like that. But doesn't mean we have to like it, you know what I mean? But with that, uh, like, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. And I hope you guys have a great, wonderful west of your wonderful west. Wow. Baby talk. That's awkward. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great, wonderful rest of your 2018 and hope you guys have a great 2019. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.